we've got our basic body here. I am liking what I'm seeing with the render here. Looks like maybe I could make this a little bit larger. It's kind of a two-dimensional look now. So for this underside, I actually want to extend this. And I'm going to be picky with this because then when we add this style to other elements, I want it to all be harmonious and look good and not have to go back and change all this stuff. So with that selected, let me go ahead and close these render windows. I'm going to reopen the first effect, which happens to be that under shadow right here, and give this a value of something like 25 and a blur maybe now of 20. That also is a little bit dark for me, so I'm going to increase the transparency even a little bit further. Click OK. We'll do a render. That's got a nice soft look, and we still get a little bit of the highlight up here. Another reason for the highlight is that we're dealing with a dark scene, and I want to make sure that we can go ahead and separate the character from the background very clearly if we need to. And this is a great way to do that. Once again, as a style, when we import this into the scene, if it needs a little adjustment, we can do that rapidly for all the parts that utilize this based on the style. What I'm going to do now with these items and this highlighted is choose Style New. And we'll call this Danger Color. This also has that style applied to it now. If I click back into it, we can see Style 1 Danger Color has been applied. If we want to create a second style over the top that might use shadows differently, we could do that, but for now I'm going to leave it there just like that. I'll click off of this. Let's activate our Character Development JPEG again. All right, the next thing I want to do is to go ahead and create this tail element. On the main body, I'll click and create new vector layer, and we'll name this tail. Come to the Add Point tool. As we begin right here, I have style danger color set. We'll see if that picks up right now. Or I could go ahead and just switch to danger style here, but that should pick up from where we left off. Click and drag. And I got an overlap there that I don't want, so I'm going to click and drag over to the side. And again, enough points that we get some good types of motion going in here. Now I'll go ahead and bring that back and join that. Let's go ahead and go to our Width tool and click off this first of all. We want to reposition some of these points just a little bit. A little bit of finessing. And this should be enough to get a good amount of wiggle going on. Right at this point, that's a little bit sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the curve of that. I'm going to tighten this one up a little bit. And pull that in. We'll pull this in. We'll create another little element there that will sit on top of that. Make sure that's nice and smooth. Now this will be residing behind the body, so I don't have to worry about this line or hiding it like that. I may want to go ahead at this point and with my Add tool, click and drag in here. I may not want to do that at all. Let me undo that. Go ahead and go with Freehand tool. And we'll get a nice stroke there. That's really what I want to fill that area in. Let me move the tail behind the body. We'll see how this appears. That's got to look like we want. I may want to tune this up just a little bit. So what I'll do is go ahead and repeat this process, tune this up a little bit more, adjust the body line down just a little bit, and draw the wings. And the wings will be prepared in the same fashion that I've done the tail. And when we come back, the entire body work will be done.